Good morning, it's Mrs. Jones and welcome to my garden. Today is a beautiful sunny Sunday and it is expected to get really hot. So before it does, I thought I'd sit in the garden and do a little video about seed organization. Now, my concept of seed storage right now is not good. This is a box with most of my storage supplies. In addition to my seeds, I have some gloves, some bug spray, some you know, Kleenex, and what is this, neem oil. But basically, my seed container is just sitting there all mixed up. Some are expired. I've got fruits, vegetables, some flowers. Some are spilled to the bottom. I've got some loose seeds in there. So basically this is not good. The seeds won't last. They won't germinate if they've been exposed to light for an extended amount of time. So I wanted to talk about storage, not just for you to learn, but for myself too, because obviously I need it. And the Bible also talks about seed storage. It says in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40, that all things should be done decently and in order. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40. So instead of this, I thought I would actually have it literally in order. So I got myself a really large binder. And in this binder... I'm going to organize my seeds by month planting schedule. So you can go to any of your um, state's recommendation for your planting guide and print out the month by month recommendation for planting. In this case, I'm using Grower Jim's Plants and Produce recommendation. And he's in one of my Florida gardening groups. I've printed out all of his recommendations. There is a bee trying to join our video channel. Uh, bees are good, by the way. You just don't want to bug them because you never know which one's going to bite back. Anyway, back to our seeds. So in this case, I have September. But throughout the folder, what I did... was I, I picked each month and then next to it I have about three or four of these uh, clear page separators and then I go to the next month and I have some more in between so throughout the year that's what I have and in the front I've got just a notebook which I can use for all the plants that I might want to experiment with any other notes the dates that I might plant things and on this side I've got some catalogs I get some free catalogs once you order um, some seeds from certain places they will continue to send you free catalogs so some of my favorites I have the gurneys and they usually have some coupons in there like this one has $25 for free um, seeds if you buy by the certain time and then this is another one of my favorites but you can use whatever works for you and I have that here handy the other thing that I don't have with me now because I'm currently reading is my edible flowers book that's something I'm gonna be in implementing so I'm gonna have that here as well so here is basically the outline and let's take a look at September because this is the month we're in. So September is one of the best months for planting in Florida. If you hurry, there's still time to plant warm season crops. And now is the time to start most of your cool season crops from seed. And by starting your, seed, your plants from seed, you're gonna save a ton of money because you may get some seed starters from the store and they may not survive. And those can be like three to four three to four dollars for one plant. If you're lucky, you might get four plants for that same price. But invest in the seeds because even if some don't sprout, you can try again in a week when you see that, okay, this is not working. Maybe you started them um, and it was too hot. 
you didn't give them enough light, enough water um, as you experiment with things. In fact, when we're done, I'll show you some of the seeds that I started in the month of September. So continuing, again, this is Grow Jim's Plants and Produce. Thank you. He makes a, an excellent contribution to our gardening group in Florida. Thank you so much. So for most of the state, here's what to plant in the ground now. Arugula, beans, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, celery, Chinese cabbage, collards, cucumbers, eggplant, kale, lettuce, spinach, radish, etc., etc. It's in alphabetical order. Then he goes on to separate it by North, Central, and South Florida. So then he says, if you're in North Florida, in addition to above the above items, you can also plant such and such and such. In South Florida, you can also do such and such, but wait another month to do certain things. So he's also saying, here's a list of things that you can plant in Florida, but hold off on these things if you're in a certain part of the state, or go ahead and plant these a little early in a certain part of the state. There's another, um, another group, it's the Florida Extension, um, I'm, I'll have to post a correction if I'm wrong. Um, they also have what to plant by seed or by transplant in their division of this. So if you know that you're all about seeds, then you can follow that recommendation. And if you're more comfortable, you don't have the time to start it by seeds and you don't mind investing in the little expense of the seedlings, then they'll tell you, okay, now is the time to plant the seedlings in this time of the month. So this is September. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my seeds and choose the ones that I like. Of course, you're not going to buy everything on this list if you don't like it. And no one's saying that you have to. But if you're experimenting, sure. Like, for example, uh, kohlrabi. I've never grown that. I don't think I've ever eaten it. And I'm not likely to try to buy a seed unless I've tried it from, you know, someone's cooked it or I've bought it at a restaurant and said, okay, I like it. Maybe I can grow it. Or done some research on it but definitely things like eggplants and lettuce cabbage strawberries the things that i love and our family eats i'm going to include it in my seeds so what i'll do is i'll go through my seeds and pick out the ones that are for september and i'll put it in that sleeve or the two or three sleeves of september and then go ahead and organize it so it's going to take me a while to do this. How about if I go through and I pull these, I'll do a couple months and then I'll show you kind of like what I have going on before we move on. Okay, hold on, stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. So this is the finished product. As you can see, it's thickened out. But again, I've got in front some of my favorite seed catalogs, a notebook for any notes that I might need. And then each page is a month and the recommended seeds for growing. And then I've added my seeds so I can clearly see what I'm going to plant each month. Um, I've put some of my favorites in the month where I expect most of the growth, like um, March, April, May, June. And then uh, so that's each month. And then in the back, I've got my favorite flowers. They're all blue. <laughs> uh, these are all flowers, and each one has blue flowers. And then all the way back, I've got some herbs. And this, this is actually a lily that I want to try for my pond. It's American lotus seeds. So back here some miscellaneous herbs and other seeds. So, we have finally organized. That took me about, I don't know, what time is it? That took me about an hour in the hot. I needed to get my fan out. So, enjoy the rest of your day and I hope that you can maybe learn a few organization tips. If you have another way that you organize yours and you'd like to share it, feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my video so you can 
keep up with all the new videos. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a question at the bottom of the video. All right. Have a blessed day and goodbye.